Hey guys, Hyperion here and as you can see I've acquired the full Alien preset. Now why am I making a video on this? What's so special about the Alien preset? It's quite literally the best set you can get. I've had a few other peak characters like the Wario in my first video. I had a 100% Trickster and a Rogue and a stacked Necro and a Perfect Sorcerer, which both died stupid deaths. Actually pretty much all of them did and suicided. But yeah, ever since my account resets and all, I've finally got the Entropy Priest. Here are the clips of me acquiring each item. This set is so strong that I'm never gonna die. Which means I can give this priest a name. Since he'll be with us forever, I'm gonna call him... Samuel. Samuel the Priest. Right now, there's something a little off about Samuel. Yeah, he's missing one of each stat, so let's bring him to life. Wow, this looks pretty cool. Time to drink up. Okay, Samuel is now complete. Let's talk about his strengths, jumping onto the DPS calculator. As you see here, this is the highest DPS preset. Now you may be saying, where is the Tame of Pain? Well, if I slap it on this set, then I'll slap it on the Entropy set. So the difference won't really change. Anyways, this set actually does more DPS than the max DPS set. And guess what? It's twice as tanky. I've covered this DPS test on my Entropy video if you want to check out how strong Entropy is. So what does that make Samuel? A heavy hitting powerhouse. He's got the Reskin Wonder Fallen, an alien robe combined with Entropy Reactor, all to give you enormous unbeatable stats on the board. And he also got bonus effects too, possibly armor breaking, paralyzing, lobbing a poison, popping decoys, even more self healing, and possibly killing a cube unknowingly. And what time goes best with this? The time of protection of course, because it generally allows the most tanking, armoring you. And this goes well with the HP reactor as its effects trigger upon taking hits. And being armored and healed means you can brush off those hits and tank more, thus allowing the effects to proc more. Another advantage Prot has over other tomes is you'll be taking reduced damage, obviously, so there is more chance of you getting hit below 75 HP and surviving than with a normal tome. Not to mention 40 HP, so its entry is base 120 HP and its 150 HP heal below 300, that's a total of 270 HP, and slap the Prot on, that's 310 HP. Being armoured you have pretty much 980 HP and 90 defence. Even without armor, you have 980 HP and 45 defense. Still super beefy. Remember, this is on top of the huge DPS Samuel has over other priests. Don't fret though, other times are completely viable. I just don't have them. There is one flaw, however. Samuel can't pierce as he lacks recomp. But then again, does it really matter? Like, really? Samuel will only truly favor it in Godlands or UDL. Anywhere else, and he doesn't have the spark over the Fallen One. So that's the summary of Samuel. Let's see him in action now.